I have always loved playing video games. Mario, Pokemon, Call of Duty, Overwatch. I can go on for hours. I mean, like, my freaking walls are filled with video game stuff. But one day I decided, I'm gonna try to make my own game. And now I've made games that are watched and enjoyed by tens of thousands of people. But how did I do it without any experience? And how can you do it too? Also, how can you do it without even writing a single line of code? Let's start off with the basic tools of game development. And the number one thing I think you need is passion and killer instinct. Seriously, you'll work on something for minutes, hours, days, weeks, even months for it to be finished. And that's just a small part of the game. It takes even more time to finish the entire project. When I started, I had no job. I was single. I was bored all the time. So I had an infinite amount of time to work on game development. I played a bunch of games and wrote down the parts that I liked, the parts that I didn't like, and one of the biggest steps for me was just opening the game engine and just messing around. And to go back to an earlier point, you might be confused how you make games without writing a single line of code, and it's thanks to tools like the sponsor of today's video, Mutate. That's right, Mutate is a gaming platform where you can create games without writing a single line of code. Mutate is made from scratch with a very simple yet powerful visual linking system. Everything is social! It's crazy, you can make your game while your friends are in the game with you playing it as you're making it. Or you can be like me when I was younger and just do it solo style. Everything is nice, clean, simple, and smooth, and it has a bunch of awesome assets for you to use. But do you want to have your own assets? Yes, you do. And yes, you can add your own assets. By the way, did your friend create an awesome game in Mutate? Well, you can remix that game and add your own custom flair to it. Mutate is still a work in progress, and they have a ton of cool things to come. More game logic, assets, improved visual language, and much more. Also, they listen to the community feedback. In fact, they already have a super friendly community where you can ask for help, advice, join a game jam, or maybe even team up with someone else to create something amazing. By the way, did I mention that Mutate is free? Not only is it free, but you can make your first game in a day today. Horror games, platformers, action games, you can make anything you want. Like I said, Mutate is completely free, and you can check it out at the link in the description. Also, there's a link to it in the pinned comment below. Thank you to Mutate for sponsoring this video. You may be told you need intense management skills, a god-tier PC, and a degree in computer technical quantum bumbo. But I started off as a high schooler with a computer that couldn't even open Google Chrome. And every time I tested my game, it took like probably like two minutes just to test the game every single time. But the point that I'm trying to make is making games takes a lot of passion and dedication and the tools that you have may help you, but you definitely need the passion and the dedication first. So you got your PC. You're extremely excited to make a game. Now fairly, what, what do we do next? You gotta get creative. Being creative is one of your best friends when it comes to game development. You can find a topic that you can enjoy, a game genre, a game mechanic, a location. Seriously, the choice is yours. Next, we're gonna take that idea and expand upon it. So let's say I make some slimes, but what if they have a love-hate relationship with people, you know, kind of like cats? What if instead of biting or scratching, they have horns like goats and they ram into people when they're angry? Well, there you go, you just created jellies. Seriously, just be creative and have fun with it. Another thing that you need to know is that failure is not the end of your game career. You might release a game that nobody plays, or people might think your game is a little clunky or it's poorly designed. But the more that you work at it and the more that you learn, the more things you can take to your next project. I remember months before I started YouTube, I actually uploaded a clip of the first game I was making, Luna Lane, to a Discord server, and it just got absolutely destroyed by people. They said it was ugly, they said it was clunky, they said I had bad mechanics. One person even said that game development is not for me and I should just quit. Obviously that hurt a lot. And I actually did quit game development after getting feedback like that on my game. That wasn't until I met my then girlfriend, now fiance. We were just talking one day and I was like, oh yeah, you know what? I used to do game development. She's like, you did game development? That's so cool. You should keep doing it. She really gave me confidence and made me feel like I could do this as a job one day. Maybe, maybe people would watch me. Maybe like 200 people would watch. <laughs> okay, let's move on to something really important that is very, very helpful for you when making games that I don't see a lot of people talking about, and that's people. Whenever I make anything, 
I send it to a lot of people. People that make games, people that don't make games, people that don't even play games. There's some things that you will miss when you make a game that'll be so completely obvious right after someone points it out to you. Now, sometimes the feedback will be very harsh. You're not always going to make things people will enjoy, and that's okay. If you've made something that people don't like, you can always ask them what they think you can do to improve it. Then, you take all of that information you got from all of these people, put it together in a big bundle, and then you can figure out what you want to do next with your project. If you don't have anyone to talk to about game development and you really need some feedback, there's a Discord server, the link in the description, where you can talk to people like me and other helpful members of my Discord server, and we'll help you out with your game. That's how I got started. I, when I made the Discord server, I asked all of you, my community, what I should do to make my games better, and now here we are. So it's very helpful. Video games are art. They require passion, time, and love. If there's something that you want to do in game development, you can totally do it. Something as small as making your character walk from the left side of the screen to the right side of the screen might not sound like much of an accomplishment to fellow game developers, but think about all the people that are in the world that play games and don't understand how they work. If you told them that you made a game where a character can walk from the left side of the screen to the right side of the screen all on your own, they would probably be impressed, because it is impressive. Celebrate every moment you can when making your game. Blab on about it for hours to your friends until they hate you. Concept ideas in the shower. Get inspired by a game that you played as a kid. Making video games does not have to be hard. As long as you put time, love, and care into it, you can do it.